Welcome back and today what I have is kind of it's not kind of it is just a collective haul and um, this is some stuff that I've picked up from Ulta um, the drugstore and Sephora I think that's it Target and Target yeah so I've got a lot of stuff here so I'm just going to get right to it uh, first thing, I, I picked up a couple new perfumes. Um, I have a lot of perfume over there and just kind of wanting to try a few things different. When the Ulta uh, brochure comes in, I always test those out and then have a lot of samples that I've been trying to use up and figure out which one I like the best. Um, right now, I have really been liking uh, the Michael Kors. Um, sexy amber and don't pay attention to my fingernails they're chipped I'm gonna paint them but uh, this every time it comes in the Ulta magazine brochure thing I keep thinking to myself I want to get that perfume I want to get that perfume but it's really expensive but we have a place here called Drug Emporium and they sell um, perfume for a lot less than what it is in the drugstore so I picked this up and I am terrible at describing the way things smell uh, it it smells it has like an amber smell to it you just have to smell it next time the Ulta thing comes in the, one of the Michael Kors perfumes is always in there next time you're in Sephora or Ulta or something just smell it. It smells really good. So I finally picked that up and then while I was there also the girl talked me into the Vince Camuto Amour. This is the box that it comes in and the box is so pretty that I just really like the box but this is the bottle and the bottle is so pretty too and this is more of a like a warm floral scent and I'm really not into I'm really not into floral but this one I'm about to sneeze I, I can't describe it it smells good so I got that one bit um I also picked up the nail polish Essie nail polish in exotic Liras Lyras? It's not Lyras. It's L-I-R-A-S. Anyways, it's like pink. And I probably have 37 of the same kind of color over there. But that's okay. I don't have this one. I know for sure. So, grab that. And that's what I'm going to paint these mess of nails with. Also, as far as like drugstore. And this is from Target, I believe. Uh, another tube of the Maybelline Illegal Links mascara and that's what I'm wearing today. This is by far my favorite drugstore mascara ever and I would probably say that I like it even better than the their real. If you're looking for a dupe then I would say this is it. This says that it has fiber extensions in it I don't have a problem with the little fibers that are in this. There is not a lot of them. And you can, I mean, you can see a few, but they don't like fall out into your eyes and you don't get, you know, that in your eyes. So if you wear contacts or anything like that, you don't have to worry about that. Or at least I, I don't wear contacts, but still. And let's see here. I picked up a new beauty blender. It's dirty because I just used it a minute ago when I put my makeup on. But my other one, my black one, and never had a problem with any other color. After a while when you use it, it pieces of it start falling out. And like as you're using it on your face, I would have like little black pieces of beauty blender. So I probably won't get another black one. Just FYI. When I was at Ulta, I picked up we finally have soap and glory products there granted the section is like this wide 
and like four or five shelves and that's it but we finally have some so i picked up the smoothie star body buttercream it's whipped it smells really really good it says that it is um vanilla and coconut mm -mm. pistachio almond and sweet vanilla i can definitely smell almond and vanilla also from Soap and Glory, I got the Flake Away, and this is like a uh, sugar and peach seed powder spa, sorry, spa body polish. And I have used this already, and this is really, really good for exfoliating, but it's not so rough that you couldn't use it every day. And the, it's, that's my dryer. Every time, I, I don't know why I choose to film when the washer and the dryer are going, but I do, so. Uh, this is the Smoothie Star Body Milk, and again with almond, cocoa, yogurt, oh, and honey. And it smells like uh, almonds and brown sugar. It's really, really good. I really like this a lot. And that was all we had. I don't know if I just got there late or it, it had kind of been picked through already, but... There wasn't a whole lot to choose from in this open glory. Moving right along to NYX, and I've already used this, so that's why it looks terrible. But I got the Cream Highlight and Contour Palette from NYX. And I used this today, and this, these lights and everything, it makes me look washed out. But I did use this today. I've used it before, and I've used it with a brush. And I didn't like how it applied. Today I used everything in here with uh, my fingers. And it worked. And then, you know, uh, blended it out with a beauty blender. But that is the dark, or the contour color, I guess you could say. And it, I was afraid that it was going to come out muddy or orange. And it looks like poop. <laughs> on my hand but it blended out really nice so you didn't I didn't have to worry about that and then this highlight I don't know if you can see that very good it's really pretty and then that other uh, shade is like exactly my skin tone so that turned out pretty good. I picked up the Lorac Buildable Blush Matte Blush, and this is the shade Tinge. And these are their new blushes. This is the packaging. It's just that gunmetal. It's really pretty. And then this is the color. And it's coming across really, really light in the viewfinder, but it's really a pretty, really light pink. And you, and like it says, you can build it up and it's matte. It does have a lot of uh, fallout when you do it with a brush. So what I've been doing, is just kind of dabbing my brush and it tends to not get as much as if you swirl it in there, but it's just so soft and creamy. I can deal with the fallout. Um, from Lorac also, I picked up the Nude Necessities palette again with a uh, gun metal there I've used this twice probably and I can't say that I am hugely <coughs> excuse me that I'm hugely impressed with it and I usually really really like the rock eyeshadows they're pretty it's just hard to get a uh, a really good I don't know I look with it they're I mean it is nudes like it says but that's the first row or the bottom row right here and then I'll swatch the next one it's just they're so nude and light that it's hard to get any kind of a really color payout on them 
I couldn't, and I'm going to keep playing with it. Like I said, I've only used it a couple of times. If you're wanting to go for a really, really natural eye, then this would be perfect. I got to keep playing with it before I, before I have a real opinion on it. And the rock. Um, it was a free little trial mascara thing. This is the Cobra Mascara. I hate these kind of brushes. They're such a pain to try and get on your eye. I mean, it's so flat right there, and then you... I, I just don't like that kind of brush. But I'll use it. I have used it once, and it's okay. Move on to lip products here. I picked up a couple lip liners. We have two NYX and a Rimmel. And the first NYX one is in Pinky. And that is that one. It's Pinky. And then this one is cat has decided to come in here and eat. That one is Pinky Rose. Above it, you can see a theme here. Typical. This one is Indian Pink, so even each one of them has a pink name, obviously. So that's that. And then as far as NYX, uh, I picked up one Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. And I haven't ever had this shade before. I have heard uh, things about it on YouTube. This is going to be more of a summer shade right here. Sugar cookie. And then in the soft matte lip creams, I got three of these. The first one is Prague. a little bit more of a plum pink color. They're all looking the same thing on the camera. So the next one is Ibiza. These are just, I don't know. They're just really pretty. More summer, but I'm ready for summer. It's been like 80 degrees here. And then today, it's like 58 or something like that. It's freezing. And this one is Milan. Again, pink. Shocking. They all match. This one was the Milan right here. And then Lorac. What well, would we just stick with Nyx here? Uh, this was the first time I'd seen these there. This is the um, Simply Pink lip cream, but it's in like the crayon form. I have used this a couple of times and I really, really like it. I'm going to go get some more shades. They're not matte. I would say probably it's, it's like a satin color, I guess. That's it right there. But really, really pretty. And it wears really well also. Lasts quite a while. Okay, now moving back to Lorac. I picked up two of their Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Ego Lip Glosses. This one is in Girl Next Door. This one I've worn a lot. I've had this stuff probably a week or so. That is that one right there. Just more of a nude pink. And then this one is Showgirl. This is more of a corally pink. This one I hope I wear. It's really pretty. It's that one right there. They all match. They're all the same. All of them. So I could use those lip liners with any of them. 
I have that terrible, terrible habit of um, getting stuck on a color. And then it seems like everything I pick up is that color. I have a horrible habit of that. Sometimes it'll be reds, and I don't wear red lipstick. And sometimes it'll be pinks. I do wear pinks. Not bright pinks with the lip situation here, but uh, nudes. Nude pinks. Th those are my go-to colors. Also picked up some of the soft lips. This is in vanilla. I've never used these before until today. And they're okay. I probably won't get it again. I'd rather have the uh, Jack Black chapstick. It works better. Um, I also got the Joico K-Pack Split End Mender for my hair. But I know this isn't makeup, but we're just going to show you anyways. Um, I went to the salon and got it done. And we're going to have to have a discussion about getting this, my highlights a little bit closer to my scalp. Because it already looks like I have huge root growth. And it's been a week. So that's not going to work. I uh, picked up a bottle of the Kenra Daily Provision Leave-In Conditioner. It's just like a detangler. I finished up my Pantene Pro-V detangler. Did not like that, so I'm going to give that one a try. No flash remover. Gotta have that. And I believe that's it. Yeah, so that's it for this haul. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thumbs up this video if you like hauls, mini hauls, collective hauls, any kind of hauls, and we will see you in the next video. See you there. We need when I have a mirror. I wing out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Why are you looking? Are you